it's really important when you're doing a vacuum assisted delivery that you avoid a pop-off. A pop-off would be an unscheduled detachment of the vacuum cup from the baby's head. And they're definitely not a safety feature, but, but that's how fetal injury can be caused. In fact, you can cause scalp lacerations, carefully hematoma, subgaleal hemorrhage, um, if you get a, a pop-off. So ways to avoid a pop-off is always making sure that your cup is placed nicely over the flexion point. So we don't want a lateral placement or a placement that's nearer the anterior fontanelle. We want the cup nicely placed with the center of the cup over the flexion point, which is three centimeters from the posterior fontanelle along the sagittal suture. Also very important is that when you initiate your traction and when you do your traction forces that you maintain this 90 degree angle between the cup and the stem of the kiwi. If you would start pulling in any side to side movement or up and down movement or at a um, angle that's not 90 degrees, you'd get a force across this cup, which would cause it to lift and slide and pop off, which like we said, we're trying to avoid. Also, when you're pulling, then you're going to have non-pulling hand supporting the cup. So thumb on the cup and finger on the head of the baby. And that's so that you can feel if the cup starts to pop off and you can stop it at a very early stage before it detaches. And you can also monitor descent of the baby's head by having your hand here supporting the cup. Other things are making sure that when you apply the cup, you don't put lots of lubricant under the cup. So you want that as dry as possible. And when you're pulling, you want to make sure that your traction force is no greater than 11 kilos of, of force. So when you're pulling, you should have an eye really on, on where your um, traction force indicator is so that if you go into the red zone, you start to think, well, is there anything else about my technique that I can modify in order to not pull quite as hard as I am? If you notice that the vacuum suction at any point is starting to release, so you start to see the green or the white zone, then before you get a complete detachment, then it's a, a really good idea to make sure you reinitiate the vacuum suction and only pull when you're right at the top of the, the green again. If you were to have a pop-off, then it's really important to reevaluate the clinical situation. So you would re-examine the patient, check the position, check whether there was any descent, and then you would make an active decision whether or not you were going to continue with the, the Kiwi vacuum-assisted delivery. If you are, then you would go back to your step one, two, three, four, five, and you would place your cup accordingly and complete your delivery. It should be noted that actually to initiate and maintain the vacuum can be more difficult in this situation because you'll have now an artificial caput, a chignon, where the cup has been placed. If you would get a second pop-off, then we wouldn't recommend that you would reapply the Kiwi cup in that situation because First of all, there must be something about perhaps the technique or the clinical situation that's meaning that the delivery is not going as planned and also your risk of fetal morbidity. So scalp abrasions, cephalohematoma, subgaleal hemorrhage is going to be much increased in that situation. If you're ever in doubt, then a second opinion from another practitioner is always a good idea or a more senior doctor on the late board. Thank you.